Hello, fellow freelancers. So today I wanted to talk about, uh, I received a number of questions on my course that I've been dealing with and I thought they might be interesting to uh, talk about with you guys and to make videos about. And so I'm gonna be addressing one of those today. And more specifically, I'm going to be addressing something that has to deal with word counts. Now I've talked about counting words before and how that applies, but I haven't really gone into detail. And, and this could be one of those examples of how something that might seem obvious to me because I'm so in deep into freelance translation actually might not be obvious at all to someone who's first starting out and uh, could be a question they have. And so I wanted to address this. Basically the question that I had was uh, this, uh, uh, one of the students had asked, when I count the words to a text that needs to be translated, should I count the kind of conjunction words like and, any, uh, stuff like that a, you know, little uh, words that conjunctions or articles, anyway, these small words, should I count them because they don't make up the substance, the main substance of the text, but there's still words there. So I don't know if I should count them as words. And so I want to give my response to this because it's a bit multifaceted. First of all, yes, absolutely you count them. You count every single word you have to translate. Um, and so if they give you a text of 1000 words, that's 1000 words that you need to translate, so you quote 1,000 words. Um, there are some issues with this and possible ex exceptions, I'll get into that at the end, but let's start with the premise that if they give you a text of 1,000 words, you, you have a certain price per word, and I've mentioned this before, that the best way to have a price is a price per word of the source text. So you say, okay, my price is whatever per word times X number of words, that's how much it costs. Fine. Now, there are a couple issues. Uh, when you receive this text, how do you count the words? And I wanted to address this because obviously she's counting them word by word if she's counting the any and all, and a and uh, or or and all these small words. And you usually don't need, you hardly ever need to do that. In fact, I, I've, I never, I, I can't remember the last time I did that. There are many ways to count words uh, in which you don't need to do it yourself. First of all, if you have Microsoft Word, put the text in there and you get the word count. It should, in fact, it depends on the version of Microsoft Word, but it's either already written there at the bottom, the number of words, and you'll see it written there at the bottom, I think at the bottom left. Or if you go under tools and again, it depends on the version, so you need to check for what type of Microsoft Word you have, but there should be an option there under tools to count the words and that's it. Uh, it's very easy. It gives you the, the number of words. And so once again, there you have your price per word. This is the number of words. Okay, that's what it'll cost me. That's what it'll cost the client. And that should be set. What if you don't have Microsoft Word? You can always copy and paste the text into Microsoft Word. I mean, if they give you a text that's not in it, but what if you don't have Microsoft Word at all and you want to uh, do the translation? First of all, I recommend having Microsoft Word or some version thereof because you're gonna get a lot of text in that. But if you don't have it, you can also go online. Just, I mean, I don't, I don't even remember the websites, but there are a lot of them, just Google word count and there'll be a play, there'll be one of those websites where you can just paste the text in there and it'll give you a total word count. And uh, that, that'll be quite easy. And in fact, it'll, many of them do really cool things like show you the most common words and how they're situated and all that. But just to get a word count is very easy. Go Google word count and, uh, or how to get a word count, whatever it is, and you'll find a place that does it. And you just paste the text in there and it's very easy. Now, this is how it works and this is how it should work. I wanted to get into some of the variations. So for someone like uh, like this lady who asked me the question, someone in her shoes, I would, I would say just to take the text, get the word count either from Microsoft Word or one of those places online, and then you have the total number of words in the document and you know what to charge the client because it's the total number of words times your price per word and that's the price you charge. Now, let's get into some of the weird variations that might pop up. First of all, you might get say like a scanned document or you know an image or something like that. So there's no way to do a word count because you can't get text from there. Uh, so what you can do here, what you can do is use an OCR. I've mentioned OCR before, optical character recognition. This is something that scans whatever image there and tries to parse out the text and you can get a word count from that. It won't be very precise. What you usually see happen here is, uh, is 
I mean, people might try that, but usually what you see happen is people will charge rather than per the source word, per word of source text, they'll charge per target word, per word of target text. And you can do this as well. Uh, so what happens is the client sends you something, a scanned page, and you say, well, my price is uh, whatever number of cents per, per target text and uh, per target word. And so that's how it is. And so the client says yes or no, and then you go ahead. There are a couple of, of drawbacks with this, obviously. First of all, you and the client don't know a final cost, a final price until it's actually finished because you don't know how many words they're gonna be until you've actually carried out the translation. And that can be a bit iffy. Um, and so what you end up doing many times is trying to estimate how many words there will be. And that can be an issue as well, because because you need to keep in mind that a lot of texts, the same text in one language will have a different number of words in a different language. I've noticed when I translate from Italian into English, if it has say 1000 words in Italian, it'll have 1000 and uh, I mean, it could be anywhere from say 1,100 to 1,300 words in English. So there's always, yeah, about 10 to even 30% more, like 1.1 to 1.3, yeah. Uh, it's usually not a full 30%, but it'll be around 10% more words. This actually works in my favor if I charge per target word, but if you, char if you translate from English into Italian, it could work against you. So keep this in mind. Some translators have a different rate for source word and for target word because of just for that reason. And so what you can do there is say, look, my rate per target word is so-and-so, and if they accept it, fine. And then you can move on. One other thing I should say, I shouldn't have to say, but I will say that you need to keep in mind when you charge per target word, you're going to find something that you're translating the text into target word and you start thinking, wait a minute, I'm getting paid per word here, but I'm writing the number of words. So why don't I write more words? And that's when you start finding people writing stuff like instead of the man's jacket, they'll be like the jacket belonging to the man or whatever. And, you know, anyone who's written an essay in college and has tried to get more words in because they need a certain number of words, they know all the tricks you can play. I would strongly advise against playing any of these tricks. Everyone's seen them before. And the people looking over your job aren't going to be some teacher who just rolls his eyes, be like, okay, he's trying to get more words, whatever. No, because it's their money out of their pocket. So they're going to notice that stuff, first of all. Second of all, they aren't going to hire you again. If you want a client for the long term, don't do that. Don't play those games. Because now I'm someone who's hiring translators, and I see it right away. If you, first of all, if someone's charging per target text, my antenna are already up because I know people like to play those games. Second of all, you notice it when they do it. And I notice it if they don't do it and really appreciate it because right away I'm like, okay, that's an honest translator who's just concentrating on the translation and not trying to play little games here and there. You don't want to look like you're playing little games. Just translate the text. The number of words that come out, that's the number of words. You know, don't, don't play text and don't play games. And look, it's even if you get marginal number of extra words because you play these games, it won't make any difference. It, it doesn't make that much difference at all. In fact, you might lose a client, so it'll make a lot of difference in that sense. So if you are charging, ideally you charge per source word and you find a way to do that. If you can't, charge per target word and, and then you'll end up knowing the exact amount once you finish it. You can kind of get an estimate through OCR or something ahead of time, but you'll know for sure once you finish it. Also because when you're typing, you're typing on Word or something like that. And so it's a lot, of, obviously you can get the word count very easily at that point. Um, now, there's one other example that you might have, like someone might say, hand you a book and they'll say, here's a, do I have a book handy? No, obviously I don't. So they'll say, here's a book. Can you translate this? How many words are there? Here, obviously you can't use a word count. You uh, want to come up with a good price before you do the translation because this is a whole book is a huge translation. And so you need to come up with a good price, even for yourself because they probably don't care about your price per word or even whether it be target word or, or source word, they want a whole price for the whole book. I wish I had a book, yeah, here we go. Oh, that's a bit too thick, but if you have a book say like this, you know, they're not going to want to have a price per word. They're gonna to wanna to know how much it costs to translate the whole thing. So you need to figure out a way to do this. Now, the way you can check out a price per, uh, 
per word there is basically to do an estimate. And you can tell the client this is an estimate to be confirmed upon delivery, to be confirmed upon completion of the translation, to be confirmed upon, you know, whatever. You can just add that to the bottom of your email or whatever you send them as a quote. If you need to estimate the number of words that there are, what you can do is you take the text, take the first whatever number of, um, of lines that you feel comfortable with. The more the better, obviously, because you're going to be more precise, but say take 10 lines or 20. If you can take 20, that's better. Take 20 and count the number of words in those 20 lines, let's say. Divide it by 20 and you have the average number of words per line. Now, look how many lines there are per page. Take that average number of words per line and then times it, times the number of lines per page. And then you times it times the number of pages. Obviously, they're gonna, you have to, you're gonna have to make a couple issues. You're gonna have to take a couple things into into account, sorry. Because a lot of, some pages will end like that. And then the next chapter kind of starts a bit further down and you know, you have stuff like that. Uh, you, you're also gonna have dialogue. I don't know if there's any dialogue handy here. Anyway, many times dialogue is only in the margin and it doesn't take up the whole thing. You're gonna have little sections like that. So that's why it's very much an estimate. Take it into account. You want, if you want to be safe, be on, you know, a bit on the high side or something like that. But I would just come up with a good estimate and tell the client, this is an estimate to be confirmed upon completion of translation because it's impossible to tell what the exact uh, number of words will be at this point in time. By the way, when you're translating books, many times you can do a translation you have a rate per page or something like that. So I'm just trying to give you an example of how to make a word count when you have a huge number of words, let's say. One thing, one other thing that I should mention when you have a long translation, like when you have any long translation, but when you have a long translation, such as where you have to estimate the number of words, remember that you don't want to wait until you've completed the whole thing to get paid. So many things can go awry, can go wrong. Maybe you're doing it the wrong way or the client isn't happy or the client isn't honest or I don't know, something like that. So you ask for milestones. And by the way, I do this for every client I have. If it's a new client, especially, if they ask for something that's over X amount, I tell them. They usually like it because it means that you are you have experience with this and you know what you're doing. So if someone gives you, say, a whole book to translate, you tell them, look, I'd be happy to do it. And you know, this is the price upon confirmation, blah, blah, blah. But with any new client, I, uh, I I need to get paid after the first hundred dollars invoiced, what, whatever you want to say, or you know, thousand words, or whatever it might be. And so uh, and so after say the first two chapters, I, I will perform the first two chapters, send them to you, and once I receive payment for that, I'll continue with the rest. Anyway, this was a long thing, and in fact, I veered off a bit. Sorry about that. Word count is an important aspect. It's usually quite easy to count the number of words or or either way to figure them out. And if you can't, you can always charge per target word. Keep in mind that when you have different languages, the amount of the target word uh, count can be a bit different from the source word count. So you wanna keep that in mind. By the way, it's not that much different. You know, I, I mentioned it can be different by 10 to 20% when you're dealing with Italian to English. Where it really makes a difference is when you have a language, say from Chinese to English or English to Chinese because you have characters in Chinese, but you have words in English and the number of characters versus the number of words can be very different. So keep that in mind because if you're translating the same text and you, per source word, it's gonna be very different than if you price it per target word or target character. So these are things you do need to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you can figure it out and hopefully it makes sense to you. And once again, once you done this a couple times, you will get the hang of it and it'll become easier and easier as time goes by. But I hope you found this useful. If you do, please don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.